body by Bobby Trip B's in the house. You know what I'm saying? Sipping that that protein. Let me show y'all. I got this new that new flavor. It's new flavor, dog. That chocolate chocolate mint. It's like Girl Scout cookies. It's just good. I tell y'all, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the optimal nutrition. Make that quality protein. You know what I'm saying? That quick hydrolyzed protein get to your blood real quick, real quick. I want to touch on a topic with you guys. So there's a lot, a lot of talking about this, about overtraining, right? And now I'm a fan of overtraining. Now when I first started training, like years ago, I would not, I guess I wouldn't overtrain. I would be your typical, I'm going to go in here and do you know, three sets of ten, four sets of ten, a few exercises, and then I'm going to get out of here, you know. But I've learned that once you do that, and you can start, if you're, if you're a rookie, if you're a beginner, you can do that. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can start with, uh, with like your, your typical four sets of ten or whatever or, or a few exercises because your body's going to respond to any kind of stress you put on it if you're a rookie. If, you're, if your body's not used to working out and you throw some load on your muscles, it's going to respond. You know what I'm saying? Me, though, your boy, I've been training for like almost 10 years now. So in the last two years, I'd say, I've been, I've been hitting it hard because after a while, gains come at a premium. You know, your, your body's already used to overload, so you got you to gotta take it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I think overtraining for me is good now because I need to do that. I need like trauma to the muscle to, to make it grow, you know, and I love that shit anyway. I'm going there, like I said, I like to get heavy ass weight, max reps. I, I like to be leaving the gym like, dogs, where the gurney at? You know what I'm saying? But no, for real though, people just attach negative connotations to, to overtraining. It's like, it's not bad. I mean, there is such thing as overtraining. If you if you train like crazy, you know, like me, for example, I'll do 25 sets, you know, of I don't even know how many, whatever reps I get, you know, in a workout, and that's a lot. Now, if you do that, you want to make sure, I make sure I'm getting enough nutrients and I'm getting enough sleep, you know. You can, you can kill yourself in the gym, and if you don't rest and you don't, you don't get proper, you know, your food in you, yeah, that's, that's a problem. You know, your body needs to recover. But nobody really does that shit. Nobody's training for damn crazy ass hours and then just not sleeping. You know, your body's gonna tell you to sleep. When your body says, "Oh, I'm tired," shit, you can go to sleep. But when you your stomach growling, yo, you hungry, you gonna eat. So I don't really think there's. I mean, I don't think there's like a thing, a such thing as overtraining. You know, you just you can train as hard as you want, and then you just eat. And rest properly and you're good man like i think people really are just scared to train that hard like they're, they're like no nah, man it's it's bad to do that so i'm just gonna put in my mind that it's bad so that i don't have to do it because i don't want nothing bad for my body like i've been doing it for the last couple of years and like i've, I've seen my I, used, I was plateaued and now i'm hitting levels you know that i have never been like i'm strong as i've ever been right now like i'm throwing i remember when i first started like 405 on squat was heavy for me. I'm like, man, I, I was scared of that shit. And now I put on 405 and it's like, that's just, that's still war working up to my heavy set. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a good thing to push yourself if you've been doing it a long time. Like I said, if you're a rookie, I mean, anything that you do, you can do your typical, you know, 15 sets or whatever if you're just starting. But for advanced lifters or anybody that's been lifting for a few years, don't be scared to overtrain. Push your body to limits. You don't know what the body can handle if you don't push it to show, like to to test it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to the gym and I'm just I'm I'm testing my body. Like, what, what can we do today? I'm about to put on as much weight as I can. And how many how many reps can I do? I don't know. Ain't no telling until I drop that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just think it, people just try to make it negative because. Either they're lazy or they're scared. I don't know. I don't think it's a bad thing. I've been overtraining for about about two years. Like I said, about two years now. And I mean, shout out to the Iron Addicts who I, I started following them. Man, they overtrain. It's like I want I wanted to do that because I want to push myself. You know, it's all about pushing yourself, guys. So, like I said, I don't think it's bad. You do whatever you want out there. That's just my opinion. It's my two cents. You know, do whatever you want to do, but 
always try new things, you know. If you try overtraining for you, maybe it ain't for you, you know. But hey, it's my opinion. I'm going to holler at you, you know what I'm saying, comment at the bottom. If you want to, you know, let me know something, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to holler back at you.